happened to you? You read the book and then... It seemed as though you were not really here. I could see you, but also see through you. Where? Where is he? Can we reach him? Can we kill him? This is a dangerous thing, then. We should return to my village and show this to my father. Perhaps Storm can make sense of what is going on. Come, there looks to be a way out through here. We must tell Storm what we have seen. We must tell Storm what They must be freed soon. The village is just ahead. Storm has used his magic to raise a barrier around it, protecting the few of us left. That the barrier is still there is a good sign. Turned. There is yet hope. Rhea, what news do you bring? Is there a way to free our people? No, but I have brought someone who has seen things. He has confirmed that Mirak is indeed behind the suffering of our people. I feel that it will be so. But how is that possible? After all this time? I fear there is too much we do not yet know. Please, tell Storm what has happened. So you have seen things, yes. My magic grows weak, and so does the barrier around our village. Time is short. Tell me what you know. Really? How? The legends speak of that place. Terrible battles fought at the temple. The dragons burning it to the ground in rage. They speak also of something worse than dragons buried within. Difficult to imagine. But if true, it means what I feared has come to pass. Mirak was never truly gone, and now has returned. If you could go to this place and see him, 
Are you like Mirak? Are you dragonborn? Then perhaps you are connected with him. The old tales say that he too was dragonborn. I am unsure. It may mean that you could save us, or it may mean that you could bring about our destruction. But our time here is running out. The few of us left free of control cannot protect ourselves for much longer. You must go to Sering's Watch. Learn there the word that Mirak learned long ago. And use that knowledge on the Windstone. You may be able to break the hold on our people there and free them from control. Much of what was known has been lost to the ages. He was dragonborn, and yet he served the dragons. A priest in their order, highly esteemed and very powerful. Then he turned against them, becoming something they feared. He was defeated long ago, but it seems he was never really destroyed. Some dark influence wields power over them, forces them to forget themselves and act against their nature. At first, it was only during the night, but now every moment is spent building some strange shrine around the windstone. I believe if the shrine can be destroyed, the skull will be free once more. Mirak is behind what is happening to our village, and so the knowledge she has gained as Dragonborn is at the heart of it. You are Dragonborn as well. You too can wield this power, perhaps to a better end. All make a shelter. If anyone can help us now, it is you. Do you need something? She died when I was very young. She was caught in a terrible snowstorm while returning home from gathering firewood. You must understand that for the Skull, life is a constant hardship. We take nothing for granted. We cannot afford to. Between the wolves, the weather, and the threats in the south, even a simple task like gathering wood for the fire can turn deadly in an instant. We are bound to this land, like a great pine with roots that run as deep as the tree is tall. I know it must seem strange to you, but for us, the thought of leaving our village is equally strange. The land and the skull are one. There is no other way to say it. It was Skaf the Giant, our former chieftain, who taught me the ways of battle. He was a great bear of a man, and a fearsome warrior. I used to be terrified of him when I was a little girl. I was a restless and angry child, and Scott taught me swordplay so that I could, as he used to say, put that fire to good use. He was a great man and a good leader. I miss him dearly. Farewell, outsider.
Yes, listener. Yes. Walk always in shadow, my listener.
Listener. Yes, listener. Walk always in shadow. Here, we reclaim. This is both fascinating and terrifying. <coughs> this... this is some dark magic. It has to be. How may I serve you, Madison? I pray to the Allmaker that whatever this was, it doesn't happen again. How may I serve? Yes, listener. I am... The air is different. We are safe, which means you have succeeded. So it is. You have proven yourself an ally to the Skull, and so the Skull shall be allies to you. If you have released the Windstone and broken the hold on my people, perhaps you can do the same for the rest of Solstheim. I doubt it will fully stop whatever Mirak is doing, but it may slow his progress. I cannot help with that. None here can. You will need the knowledge Mirak himself learned. You will need to learn more about this black book. Mirak had this? This does not look like something of the Dragon Cult. It is a dark thing, unnatural. I would have nothing to do with it. But the dark elf wizard, Neloth. He came to us some time ago, asking about black books. I believe he knows a great deal about them. Perhaps too much. Seek him out to the south. Be cautious, Dragonborn. There is something else at work here. Our traditions do not speak of them, but they and Mirak are connected. You read a black book and saw him. 
And the book's power comes from the same dark source as that which corrupted the Windstone. But beware, you are now walking the same road as Nirak. <laughs> 